It's been four weeks since the release of Grey Zone Warfare into early access, and it's time for the first major update patch to the game. The developers have promised fixes to game-breaking bugs and exploits, along with over 200 improvements. Over the weekend, we had access to the PTR for testing of the new patch, and I must say, it was extremely underwhelming. So yeah, right before I ADS, I got a consistent, you know, 60 to 70 FPS, sometimes upwards of 80. But the moment that I zoom in, it drops by at least 20, 25 frames. And then when the blur effect happens, I lose another 20 plus frames. Performance is still pretty shit. Okay, the AI is still broken. Some of the most wanted changes from the community have been centered around performance, AI tuning, LZ PvP engagements, and the no birds available for helicopter limit per faction. Request negative, negative. Not a single improvement made addressed any of these aspects. Now, on one hand, it is understandable that these are very large, complex issues that are going to take time to fine tune. Understandable, but still disappointing nonetheless. Bottom line, the only noticeable change I saw in the hours that I played on the PTR this weekend was the ability to remap some controls, including the push to talk VoIP key, the map, inventory, tasks, and health menus. While a good change overall, for me, caused a number of other issues to arise. I want every time I hit tab to open up my character inventory, but what it used to do is open your last thing and then when you hit tab, it would still close it. Now, since I rebound the gear to tab, every time I hit tab, it opens it, it never closes it. So you have to hit tab to open and then escape to close it. Here's the wish list I put together. Each of these items on the list were chosen not only because they are very needed, but because they should be very easy to implement given the short time frame. We did add the ability to put the map on different keys, your uh, task panel, your health and your gear. However, there should be key binds for every action, including quickly dropping and using items. 99% of all FPS have sprint and hold breath on the same key. Still an issue here where sprint and hold breath can be on the same button. However, half the time it doesn't work. So they did not add a aiming sensitivity. So here's a prime example of why you need an additional sensitivity specifically for aiming. So when I come around the corner, I see an enemy, but when I ADS, the center of my screen is clearly low and right of the target. In my mind, I already know that I need to compensate by moving up and to the left. But because my sensitivity is so high, I overshoot the target high and left. It's very often that you want to check your inventory or the map for things like ammo, meds, and other items. However, in the inventory, you stop moving, leaving you vulnerable, especially while being shot at. In games like DMZ, you're able to check the map and your inventory quickly while still on the move. It seems like every engagement you are low on stamina. As a result, you are unable to sprint for cover, break line of sight, and find a good spot to heal. I wish they would increase the sprint duration and along the same line, increase the prone and crouch movement speeds. Map waypoints already exist in the game, so it baffles me that you can't see your squad mate markers as well. I also think faction members within line of sight should appear on the compass. Now I know some of you are racing to the comments section screaming, That's not realistic! Well, there's this thing called intuition. You don't have to think about who your teammates are in real life. You just know. You tell me the more realistic scenario. You walk in the door from work and you see a woman and two kids at the dinner table. Do you pull out your cell phone and make sure they're your wife and kids? Or does your brain see these people and you immediately know? It never made sense to me from day one that you can only have a single previous body. Don't want an enemy to get your loot after they kill you? Just jump into the minefield at base. It's very easy to abuse. And there's nothing worse than when you spend 45 minutes clearing a section of the map and then you die. Now your body is in no man's land because AI have most likely respawned behind you and is very unlikely to recover your gear without bringing a full kit. 
Another commonly requested feature is Toggle ADS. While I don't use it personally, it's absolutely insane that it didn't make it into the first patch build. As far as performance is concerned, remove the scope blur as mentioned earlier. It's very unrealistic, it tanks FPS for no real gain. Also remove these 1 pixel wide grasses. First, they look awful after 10 meters. Second, with any sharpening, they become 1 pixel of grass and 2 pixels of white border on either side. It looks terrible. They make going prone even more worse because you can't see anywhere. And lastly, for each blade, reflections and shadows have to be calculated. Massive FPS boost should occur if they are removed. I could go on and on for hours, but I think the last few are self-explanatory. Hopefully some of these changes make it to the update list soon. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this list and what your most wanted change is.